Hi, I'm uh, Amber Lockhart. This is Ross Lockhart. We own Heart and Soul Farm in Grandin, North Dakota. And uh, we have a small scale uh, vegetable production here. And we're doing a little research this year on controlling cabbage loopers in an organic system. So we found in our farm over the years, we've been in operation since 2013, and that we've been really interested in growing brassica crops such as cabbage, broccoli, cauliflower, anything, Brussels sprouts, <laughs> and um, those are major crops for us in our in our rotation and in our in our marketing system. So we wanted to explore ways to look at um, controlling some of the pests that we've been experiencing, in particular imported cabbage worm and cabbage loopers in our system without the use of any chemical interventions. What we're trying to find out is can we, can we find a way to control that, that damage from the pest, the cabbage looper, using um, using the row cover and the the flowers to attract beneficial insects in a really low cost, low labor way for small scale growers. And what our hope is, is that we can we can find a way to to be able to harvest these uh, items such as the, the cabbage or the cauliflower that has uh, minimal to no pests inside or damage so we can uh, bring that to uh, bigger markets such as uh, a grocery store which wouldn't have any tolerance for pest damage whereas at a farmers market you you would have people that would be still willing to purchase that product. We've we've looked at doing um, using a control group of no intervention at all just basically growing in the field under normal conditions. Um, we're, we're doing it one treatment with um, a floating row cover over the, over the bed. We're doing a third treatment with, a fl with, um, with no row cover, but with beneficial uh, planting of uh, flowers, flowers, different flower species to try to bring in other insects to sort of counterbalance the damage from the pests. And then we're doing a, f a fourth treatment with both the row cover and the beneficial planting. We're particularly averse to using any sort of chemicals on our farm. And so, you know, when we are using those types of interventions, you know, there's a, there's a cost associated with that, the cost of the products themselves, but also a cost to the, you know, the, the, the native habitat within the, within the system. Um, we're trying to strike a balance in our farm with, with the different insects and other creatures that, that live in the soil and, uh, and on the soil. So we're you know, trying to stay away from any type of pesticide use altogether. Mm -hmm.